Hey, what's going on guys? This is Beg Brace, and in this video, we're going to write a Python program that keeps track of all of our books. This video tutorial is geared more towards beginner level programmers in Python, those who have just started learning Python, and they want to see how different concepts can work together in order to create a command line interface application. Okay, so I'm in my desktop now, and I'm going to create a folder. I will be using VS Code or Visual Studio Code. The reason why I'm using it, that it's because very easy to use, very friendly, and you can get a ton of extensions that are very useful in um, the productivity and your code efficiency. So let me create a folder. I will call it Book Store. I will enter inside bookstore cd or change directory to bookstore if you have vs code installed on your computer you can simply type code space dot and hit enter and this should open vs code directly to you all right now it's open but it's on the uh, other side uh, in the other monitor and here go ahead and type main dot pi and now we are creating our main file where we're going to write our code. The first thing that I want to do usually is to create the main function. And inside the main function, I'll say hello world, just to make sure that everything is okay. And here I will say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to uh, double quotes, underscore underscore main underscore underscore. This simply means that if the name of the file is equal to the main function, then go ahead and um, execute the main function. So this is a way just to automatically execute the code which will be inserted inside the main function. All right, let me open the integrated terminal by hitting Control, Shift, and Tilde. Let me also put the panel on the right side and close this. So to run our program, we'll say python main.py and we get hello world executed. Perfect. Now we know that everything is okay. Let me just delete that and start writing our code. So the first thing that I want is I want to initialize a books list. So we want to create a books list. Inside that list, we're going to append all the books that you are going to enter as the user. So uh, I'm going to call it book list. And initially it's going to be an empty list. Let me just add here a comment. Now let's think about the interface of the program. So I want kind of menu driven interface. So one add book to look up for a book and so on. So how to do that? Actually, um, I'm going to have four choices. So initially the choice will be zero and let's print different texts. So we'll say print, this is books manager. Let's have an asterisk like that for a bit of simple visual flair. Let's make it three and three. Okay, good. Now let's print the options. So option number one, I want to add a book. Option number two, I want to look up a book. Option number three, I want to display all books. And option number four, I want to terminate the program, I want to quit. And then down here below, I will say choice is equal to integer input. And I want to say actually in order for that program to work, if four will be chosen, I will get out of the choices. And for this, I will need to use a while loop. So I will say while choice is not equal to four, and then I will indent all of that. Let's just run this. Three, but if we will have four, we are exiting the loop. All right, because of that condition here above. All right, perfect. 
Now I will need to have different if else statements. So if choice is equal to one, I will print adding a book. Then I want the name of the book. So I will declare a variable, I will call it n book. And this will be equal to input for you to enter the name of the book. So that's the first input. The second one, let me actually have two more, the name of the book, the name of the author, and the number of pages. Okay, enter the name of the author, enter the number of pages. And then I want to append all this data inside the books list. So books list dot a method called append and inside the parentheses I will need as a list, right? Because books list is of type list. So I will uh, I will add the end book and author and end pages. The second choice that we might have elif choice is equal to so in case that you will type number two, you will print looking up for a book, looking up for a book. Okay, I just cleared the terminal. So now I want to have a keyword, right the name of the book. And when you will enter the name of the book, we want to print everything, the name of the book, the name of the author and number of pages. So I will declare a variable, I will call it keyword. And this will be the name of the book. So this will ask you to enter the name of the book. So we'll say enter search term. And then what I want to do, I want to iterate over the books list. So inside the books list, where is it inside the books list, actually let it uh, books list instead of book list that will be better so inside that books list i want to iterate over the books which exist in that list okay so let's do that first i need a for loop so for book in books list i want to enter a conditional if keyword in book in that iterator an iterator is just simply the book which iterates over the books list. It could be anything, it could be I, but you should change here also to I, but because it's visually more understandable. Then I want to print that book. All right, let's actually try that. Okay, perfect, add a book, let's add a book. Let's say it, um, Stephen, King, the author, and number of pages 800. Now let's look up for a book. Uh, let's see if that book uh, exists or not. Let's type it. And there we go. The name, the author and the number of pages. Sweet. Four to quit. I want also to display all of the books. So to do that, we will say LF choice is equal to three. And I want to print a statement saying that displaying all books. And also I want a for loop. So I will iterate over the range of the books list length. So if we have 10 books, I want to iterate over the range of 10 and so on. So we have five, so it will be range of five and so on and so forth. So we will say for i in range and inside that range, I want the length of the books list. And then what I want to do is to print the books list with the sub i. So I want the whole list with each iteration inside that books list. So we're going to try that shortly and then LF 
choice number four, you can just simply type else, right? But just I want it to be very clear for you guys. You simply you can type else and then print quitting program. So quitting program and then outside the whole while loop here I will type program terminated all right so let's try that one more time so add book one let's say Salem's lot you can see that I am a big fan of Stephen King's so as King and let's say 300 pages let's add another book again we'll add it as king uh, 500 pages and a third book harry potter um jk rolling rollings rolling and pages 400 pages okay now let's look up for a book so let's say it and there we have it it's stephen king 500 let's look up for another book let's see let's say h dot space potter and there we go uh, now let's display books three and we have all books displayed perfect now the logic works perfectly and if four quitting program program terminated fantastic Now this might be okay, but I want to take a further step. I want to create a TXT file and I want to save this information. And every time you open your program, you can import all the books that you have stored. So outside of the while loop here, uh, below the print statement, I want to say saving to external file or TXT file. And we're not going to be using databases or anything. This is just a simple way to save your data onto a TXT file. So let's declare a variable. I will call it out file. And here I will use a method called open. And open, I will create now a file. Let's call it the um, books list.txt. And open takes two arguments, so the name of the file and the mode. So I want W or writing mode. I'm going to write on that file. And then I want to iterate over the books list. So for book in books list, I want the out file to write comma. I want to join this join method concatenates any number of strings so basically we are concatenating also we are adding a comma between them to make separation so um, takes book as an argument plus we're going to print on a new line to not save the books all on one line and then after writing don't forget to close the file so out file dot close method this is okay but if you will open your program you will need to read first because the python interpreter it reads everything from top to bottom from left to right so if python will not be able to find that code that will read that text file it will not read anything and hence when you will say display books it will display nothing so to solve that issue i will need to declare another variable in this case, I will call it in file. So we're going to open the books list and be careful, it should be exactly the same name as the um, write file. And then the second argument is R, which pertains to reading that file. Then I need a line by line because I will need to read line by line, right? So line variable will be equal to the in file dot a method called read line and it does exactly that it reads line by line i will have a while loop now and i will say while line which means while line is true the books list dot 
append so I'm appending to the books list line and I'm going to strip each new line so R strip the new line and I'm going to split the commas and then again I'm going to assign the in file dot read line to that line right while line is true so this code block this will continue appending and reading appending and reading and so on until nothing else to read and then also I will need to close the in file so in programming in general there is something called try accept or try catch basically we are catching any potential errors that might occur in case that the program crashed so actually all this code block I'm going to wrap it inside try and accept and the main reason I'm using try accept here is that um, you might accidentally delete your books list file right so it doesn't exist so when Python will try to read from your folder this books list file it won't be able to find it then I want to return an error message okay so this is the reason why I'm using try accept just to return an error message in case that this file is missing so I'm going to print here um, actually except we have type of error called file not found error so I will say here the books list file is not found even the books list dot txt file is not found and in this case the code will continue executing until it hit the bottom of the code it will find this code block which will say I want to create a new books list file and then it will start creating it will save again the books that you have entered and so on all right so hope this is clear for you guys so we'll say here starting a new books list and then I want to reinitialize the books list to be an empty array or empty list all right so that's basically it this is our program finished now it's moment of truth let's try it but before let me actually open here to show you what will happen after we will enter our books uh, the creation of the file and all the good things that we have done in our program all right let's go python main.py add a book doctor sleep okay that's the first book let's add another book let's say dracula bram stoker 300 pages let's add a third and final book let's say life of pi jan martel number of pages 450 now let's look up a book let's say life of pi okay perfect let's display all the books great dr sleep dracula and life of pi now let's quit the program and see what will happen did you see that the books list here has been created if you will click here you'll find all of your books that you have created here in the program saved in your file let's close that let's actually run the program one more time and let's type 3 to display and we have an error the books list dot txt oh it should be dot txt I beg your pardon okay program terminated uh, let's see the books list now you see it has deleted everything so let's try that one more time uh, just be very careful in the names and the extensions as I did I made a mistake here I forgot the extension just to be sure copy the one that you will be creating and paste it to the one that you're going to read okay sorry for that guys let's try that again add a book um, it is king 500 
Bram Stalker. Let's say Life of Pi, Jan Martel, and 420 pages. Okay, perfect. Now let's try that. It. Okay, good. It's working. Display books. It has displayed all the books. Four to quit. Perfect. Now let's check. We have our books. Great. And you can see that they are separated with a comma. Um, now let's actually try to open again and make display books. And there we go. The program has actually read everything stored in that books list. Okay, which is very, very cool. All right, so I hope this tutorial was useful for you guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.